when we look at a city street, we understand that there's a, a geometric limitation. There's a, a limit to the amount of traffic we can put on that street. And so if we want to grow, if we want to develop, if we want to make it more valuable, if we want that street to be a real platform for building wealth, we have to understand that at some point, transit trips need to start taking over for auto trips. When we can put transit in a place, we can start to increase that volume of people that can be in that place at any one time. If we're stuck in an auto environment, there's nothing we can do. In fact, we often are induced into taking out the buildings along the street to just widen it out and create more capacity, destroying the actual thing that would bring people to that place. Transit should not be looked at as some type of charitable overlay to an auto-based system. It should be looked at for what it is, which is the greatest wealth accelerator we can deploy within our cities. When we treat transit in that way and allow it to, over time, become the primary mode of transportation in a place, what we find is that we build a lot of wealth. Traffic engineers don't think of things in this way because they only think about the automobile and all the kind of other transportation as being appendages to that. We have to put the automobile in its place on our city streets. As they become more mature, we have to allow it to recede and allow those other ways of getting around, the biking, the walking, and particularly the transit, to become more dominant. That's how we build wealthy places. My name is Chuck Marone, and that is my confession.